Hi everyone, this is Muhammad al a PhD candidate at the University of Liverpool. My PhD supervisors are Mr. Sirius Agatidis and Dr. Han Chen. Uh, the topic is about assessing the effectivity of additive manufacturing techniques for the production of building components, implementing innovation for housing construction in Saudi Arabia. The main motivation of this research is the shortage of housing supply in Saudi Arabia. So the key factors behind, behind this shortage is uh, related to the current construction method of reinforced concrete frame structure. So in addition to, to the rapid growing population, the construction duration and the lack of workforce and overall of the high construction cost. The aim of this research is to find out a solution to adapt the current available 3D printing te uh, concrete technology to the Saudi construction setting. The research questions include first, what large-scale additive manufacturing technologies are available and how can they be used in housing construction? Second question, what is the most effective way of implementing additive manufacturing technology in housing construction? Third question, what construction material and restrictions must be taken into account to achieve an appropriate design within the Saudi climatic and sociopolitical context. So in this research, we will analyze and compare between different techniques and tools for using concrete extrusion or in other words, the 3D concrete printing for large scale components. Uh, we will investigate this through seven case studies. The first case study is the printed house in Saudi Arabia by the CYB company. The second case study is the Dubai Municipality Project by Abyss Core. The third project is the, the apartment building in Shanghai by Wen Fan. The fourth one, the cobalt building in Copenhagen by the, the, the Copot Company. So the uh, five project is a research project conducted in Holland, which is the Comprint 3D by TU Dresden. The sixth one is printing large scale components by a team of mobile robotics. This research what has been conducted by Singapore 3D printed, Printing Center. The second one is the Mini Builder Building Large Scale Components by IAC. The key finding of comparing different case studies and the best practice of 3D concrete printing using different techniques were, uh, were summarized in this table to show the advantage and limitations of each one. So the, the technique has been divided to five categories. Uh, the first one, the mobile robotic arm. The second category is uh, the static robotic arm. And the gantry-based system, the customized robotic arm on the mobile pump. And also the swarm robotic. In conclusion, using robotic arms to 3D print housing components can increase the production efficiency and also can lead to reduce the labor intensity inside, as well as to increase the production quality. So in this research, we came up to a proposal which will be the main step of our investigation to use a mini uh, factory unit for in-situ construction. 
which can be adapted to the current setting of Saudi Arabia. The reason for this unit is to protect the robotic arm from death and from the harsh weather in Saudi Arabia. And thank you for your attention and that was it.